As I speak this message, I'm aware we continue to live a time of loss. People are grieving those who've died. There's been the loss of contact with friends and family, the loss of jobs, the loss of so much that was once familiar. And that important word, with, seems only to be heard in a context of restriction, who we can and can't be with, how close we can be with, keeping faces covered when with. Yet that repeated message of hands, face, space, is all about keeping one another safe. It's about love. Which brings me to Christmas, which has not been cancelled. We can't undo the birth of Jesus Christ. And there's an alternative Christmas message around those words, hands, face, space. And it's still about love and protection, but it's about God, who rather than being determined to keep clean hands and stay distant, instead chose to come into the mess of the world to be with us, to rescue us from our self-destruction. Picture that nativity scene, the very first Christmas. There's the baby Jesus lying on straw in an animal feeding trough. Alongside the exhausted parents, there are some visitors, shepherds from the surrounding hills, keeping night watch. You might even have called them key workers in first century Palestine. And their hands, which have touched dusty earth and sheep, draw close to this baby. And as they look, they see the face of God uncovered and they are filled with joy. Here is God, who is not distant, but who draws close in love. In fact, one of the names given to Jesus was Emmanuel, which means God with us. One day, the hands of the baby grown to be man were nailed to a cross, dirty and bloodied, and his face, that of God, contorted in anguish. And as friends fled to keep distance, God drew ever closer in the darkness of pain with a love that sought to keep us safe, to protect us from ourselves. And three days later, when Jesus Christ came back from the dead and with wounded hands looked in the face of friends and followers, he revealed that hope is stronger than despair, that death will not have the final word, and that distance and separation from God was not to last. The light shines in the darkness. It's why I love Christmas lights. The Christmas message of hands, face, space is one of hope and with. God whose hands are stretched out to hold you, whatever you're experiencing. God whose face is seen in Jesus Christ and God who cannot bear to be separated from you, longs to draw closer than close because you are loved. There will be restrictions this Christmas and people we can't be with and hand washing and face covering and distancing are important reality. But not so with God. I wish you a hope-filled Christmas. The light shines in the darkness. God is with us.